You know, last year, I mean, it was thrilling and exciting, and this year, just going to be just much more thrilling and exciting. I mean, I, I mean, I can't wait for the moment. Malcolm Alexander helps his black lab in to try on her carnival cape. Oh, no, she wore She no, wore She wore it. They're ready for the crew of Barkus Parade. This year, in is the Princess Royale. Well, that's an honor, to be straight up honest with you. Because, you know, some people frown on people coming out of the institution and stuff like that, whether you're innocent or not. Being a part of Barkus means a lot to them. Just two years ago, they were both at the state penitentiary at Angola. Malcolm served 38 years there for a crime he didn't commit. Come on. He was charged with rape in 1980, and in 2017, results of a DNA test excluded him from the crime. Malcolm was overjoyed to finally be free, but he couldn't leave his best friend behind. Once I stepped, you know, outside, one of the things that I mentioned, say, right, who going back and give my dog? <laughs> In was given to Malcolm through Angola's shelter program, and today they're inseparable. Come here. The crew of Barkus president says they're thrilled to have Malcolm and Inn on board. They recall the moment they told Malcolm the good news. I think a few tears were shed. He, he said that, you know, other than being freed, other than being uh, back out in society, this was one of the greatest honors. And I think he felt like a king for that day. As for Princess Inn, the name is actually short for innocence. Malcolm named her that because they were both innocent during their time in prison. He hopes more people and organizations embrace citizens like him who re-enter society and need a fresh start. Don't be so quick to shell us out. Feel us. You just got to trust us.